Hi and welcome to you in the channel. In this video we're gonna talk about Ruby and what you can use it for. You don't have to spend much time researching programming languages to hear about Ruby programming and its popular web framework, Ruby on Rails. Huge swaps of the internet are built with Ruby programming language, as are many other applications. Ruby is a script language built from the ground up for use in the front-end and back-end web development and similar applications. It is a robust, dynamically typed and object-oriented language. What's more, its syntax is so high level and easy to understand that's considered as close as you can get to coding in English. More than one person has commented in some programming communities that they could basically understand Ruby code even without knowing how to program. Released in the 1990s, Ruby is an open source programming language created by the Japanese programmer Yukihiro Matsumoto. I don't know if it's the right pronouns of his name. He has stated that the language is designed to be both fun and productive. Ruby is scripted, meaning that it's an interpreted language rather than a compiled one. It helps us to compare Ruby to other languages to see how it's similar and different. Python is a programming language that focuses on having a single and biggest solution to every problem. Ruby projects, by contrast, want to have many valid approaches to problem solving. There are advantages and disadvantages to both methods. Some other differences include how strings are mutable in Ruby, but not in Python and Ruby only has one kind of list container. However, they are both heavily object-oriented. In both Python and Ruby, everything is an object. Compared to C or C++, Ruby tends to hide a lot from programmers to make their jobs easier. This can indeed make it much easier to ship code, but means finding the bugs might require a lot of more digging. Now I will answer their question. What is Ruby programming used for? Ruby is most used for building web applications, however, it's a general purpose language similar to Python, so it has many other applications like data analysis, prototyping, and proof of concepts. Probably the most obvious implementation of Ruby is RaysWeb, the development framework built with Ruby, and Homebrew, an extremely popular tool for installing software packages on macOS. It's also written in Ruby. So is the security software Metasploit, which allows you to test websites and applications for how easy they are to break into. There are a number of highly visible applications created by Ruby developers with Rails that include popular booking sites like Airbnb and TV streaming services like Hulu and other applications include uh, GitHub, Goodreads and the calories tracking application MyFitnessPal. Ruby and Ruby on Lace can help you to build a secure website, find a great show while vacationing in your Airbnb, and meet your daily calorie goal. It's not bad for such simple programming language. And now the question, where can you learn Ruby programming? There are many free online resources available that can teach you the basics of Ruby and Ruby on Rails. One of the most useful for those seeking a job in development would be App Academy Open. This course covers Ruby as well as job search, tactics, and several other technologies vital to developers. Ruby can also be learned via Coding Bots Camp or other online services like Try Ruby or Code Academy. So as we know now, Ruby is a strong language to add to your developer profile, resume, and portfolio. If you are just starting your tech career, it's also easily an introduction into the world of programming. And now that's for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Goodbye.